Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to give a little pregnancy update. So today is Sunday and I will be posting this video on Tuesday. So when you see this, I will be 14 weeks and 4 days. Like time is going by so fast. Um, okay. So I kind of mentioned this before, but I never really did like a whole, um, update so some symptoms that I've had has been I have had like all day morning sickness um especially when I'm brushing my teeth which really sucks I don't know what it is I don't know if it's like the toothpaste or if it's just I don't know but it's just it's not pleasant and I really want that to end <laughs> My boobs are so hurting um and if you're wondering I did breastfeed my two girls and I will be breastfeeding this baby also I get like really bad anxiety um so I was taking I started taking CBD oil for it and I hoped like a lot but I had not taken it since I found out I was pregnant but I just ordered some and just got it and started taking it again so I've been taking it for a few days I take it in the morning and then in the evening since I started taking the CBD oil again I have not been nauseous at all and it's been so amazing um still when I brush my teeth I'll get sick but um I haven't had like any morning sickness or anything like I was like waking up and I would be nauseous like right away and then sometimes it would just last all day and it wasn't fun um i was like that with avery too i had like just all day morning sickness just all day feeling like crap um i just want to mention my sweet husband he's been like so amazing and so supportive um like even when like when i don't feel good he will just make sure that I have everything I need. He'll like go get me something if I want it or need it. He'll rub my back for me if it's hurting. He'll run me baths. He'll make me hot tea. He's just like super sweet and he makes me breakfast every morning. Okay, so usually for breakfast I'll have yogurt and coffee and then I'll have like an orange or something. Um, sometimes I have a bagel if I'm in the mood but lately it's been yogurt coffee and like some type of fruit usually an orange or watermelon um when i was having all day morning sickness one of my favorite things to eat was watermelon so we've gone through a couple of watermelons because <laughs> i'll eat it a couple times a day um yeah watermelons basically just water so i guess there are worse things that i could be eating right so let's talk about cravings um let me see um i've had like a couple cravings but it's like i'll want something really bad and then i'll have it and then it's like i don't want it anymore so it's not like reoccurring cravings like my last pregnancies um with alexis i craved jalapenos every day um when we first found out that i was pregnant I had a craving for steak and mashed potatoes so I think my husband got like all excited and he thought that this was gonna be like a reoccurring craving and he loves eating meat and stuff so he was happy but actually like since we had that I have not really been wanting meat like at all I did make some chicken the other night and we made a video that was our last video that I posted um so I actually like really wanted it. it, smelled like really good, and then when I started eating it, I like, I couldn't finish it because, I don't know, I guess it just sounded better than it actually was. So I'm still not really in a like meat eating mood. Okay, so this is my third pregnancy. Um, for my first two, I did not buy maternity clothes. Um... I haven't had to yet either hopefully I won't need to I've just been wearing leggings and I love these like maxi dresses like they're super soft and comfy and 
stretchy for when my belly grows. And I did recently just buy a new top. And there's like it's really flowy at the bottom. So when my belly starts to grow, it'll look good then too. So my first two pregnancies, it took longer for me to start showing. Like it took, like I feel like I was even like six months and I was still like really small. Um, but now you can, like my belly, like my lower belly is like getting harder and you can definitely see like a little bump there now already, which is crazy. Okay, so for like the last two weeks, I've been feeling like these little flutters down there, which I don't know, I thought it was kind of too early to feel the baby. So I don't know what it is, but that's exactly what it feels like. It feels like when you start feeling those little baby flutters, then I like it. Okay, so here is a picture of the baby. According to my pregnancy app, this is the size of our baby right now. So we had talked about finding out the gender early, like doing one of those like at home um, gender tests, but I was reading the reviews and like a whole bunch of people were saying that it's very, like very easy for the test to become like contaminated or something and you have to be like super careful. Someone said that they did the test like three times and um, they kept saying that they couldn't accept it and then they sent them like a new one and the results ended up being wrong anyways. So I guess that we're just going to have to be patient and wait because I would hate to start buying things for one gender and then have it be wrong and we have to like start all over. Some people claim that they can tell the baby's gender by just looking at the ultrasound picture. So I just showed you guys an ultrasound picture so leave me your guesses down below. I would love to hear everyone's guesses, a boy or a girl. Everyone told me that Avery was going to be a boy. I always felt like she was going to be a girl but I did start to kind of like doubt myself because everyone was telling me that she was going to be a boy. I would totally love to have another girl um I'm just like totally a girl mom like I would not know what to do with a boy but of course like as long as the baby is healthy and beautiful then I'll be happy my husband he's just excited to have a baby he doesn't care if it's a boy or a girl you know I guess it's just I already have two girls so I have like girl everything and like that's just what I'm used to um, so it would just be like totally different if we had a boy. I keep telling everyone that we're gonna have another girl because again, that's just what I feel like. Alright, so also I live in Florida, if you didn't know already. Um, so I'm really happy that I will not be like really big during like the really hot months. So that's awesome. Um, we were supposed to be having a hurricane this weekend, but I think it like, it broke up. And so we've only gotten like a few minutes of rain just here and there today. Nothing crazy. I was really hoping that we would get more rain, um, you know, for our garden because it's been super hot. Honestly, it's like really funny. Like the people that are not from Florida, they like freak out over hurricanes and they will go crazy like buying things like I've heard from people on Facebook that the stores are like everyone's buying like all the canned food again and all the toilet paper and just panic buying basically like really the only thing that sucks during a hurricane to us is when the power goes out because we have like no air conditioning so um since it's not really raining today we had planned on making like some vegetable kebabs out on the grill and I'm super excited because that sounds so amazing and I'm going to make some couscous with it. Um, I will leave in a little clip so you can see what our dinner looks like. Alright guys, so that was my little pregnancy update so far. 
Um, of course, I will leave you guys updated. I don't know if I'm going to do one of these every week, but whenever there's some changes or something, then I will update you guys with a little video. Um, so this is my third pregnancy. So you would think that I'm like totally experienced and everything, but you know, sometimes like you forget things. Um, Avery is four years old, so I haven't had a baby in four years. So I could be like forgetting about something. So leave me like your favorite, like must have baby item in the comments, please. And I would really appreciate it. Alright guys, so if you weren't already, please subscribe to our channel and I will see you in our next video. Bye!